Hey everybody, this is Eric with the Future of Fitness podcast and the Fitness Marketing Alliance. And in this podcast, I got to talk to Kit Klein from GoRuck. And if you are unfamiliar with what GoRuck is, it is a U.S.-based apparel company. And they have branched out into doing um, military-style challenges all around the world. So this is a company that's seen a lot of growth in, in the fitness industry and is an interesting segment. And their, their slogan is building better Americans. And one of the things I found fascinating during this conversation was how um, they built a global tribe and how they're so focused on community and, and all the things that they do. And there's so many lessons here for those of us who are looking to build a community within, their fit, within our fitness business because community and tribes really um, is what we're looking for. That's what will give you the, the base that you need to grow your business. And he also talks about the Firebase program, which is a way that you can get involved in GoRuck if you are a facility owner or um, if you just simply uh, train people at a gym that might be interested in it. It's a great way to build community and great way to bond with your clients. And uh, there's just a lot in here. So without further ado, it is Kit Klein. He's the affiliate manager at GoRuck International. And uh, let's let it rip. Hey everybody, this is Eric with the Fitness Marketing Alliance and I am sitting here with Kit Klein from GoRuck and I'm really excited to talk to him. I know um, I've been watching GoRuck for a long time and the growth of, of that business and uh, kind of the phenomenon around it and uh, I'm really excited to have you here, Kit, if you don't mind maybe telling us a little bit about yourself and what GoRuck is. Sure, uh, happy to be here. Glad I have, we made the time to make this happen. Um, so, about me, um, I've been uh, always very interested in the fitness industry in general. Um, have worked in some gyms as, as a trainer, just doing some small stuff in the past. I have, uh, you know, always done sports or some sort of competitive thing. Um, and then as I got older, started, you know, doing the typical nine to five, uh, working in a cubicle, and just wasn't really loving life too much. It was a lot of that, you know doing the, the, the nitty gritty all day and, and nine to five would turn into eight to six or eight to seven. And it was really draining on me. So I was looking for something different in my life, something that was going to really give me some additional fulfillment outside of the job. And from that, I started looking into um, obstacle course races. So that started off as, you know, warrior dash and things like that. I'm like, you know, this seems a little short. It's, it's not something that is going to be super challenging for me. Um, so then I came upon the Tough Mudder brand. And from there, uh, in the early days, GoRuck was partnered with Tough Mudder um, as a way to obviously gain some eyes and, and uh, promote ourselves a little bit. Um, and I wasn't working with GoRuck at the time. But uh, I saw that and I was like, okay, if you, their, their message on the sidebar was that if you do a GoRuck event or a GoRuck challenge, you would then be able to run the Tough Mudder course with a special operations, uh, you know, person, veteran, um, and they would, you could do that with a group of people and have some fun. I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. And their event, the GoRuck event, sounded more challenging even than Tough Mudder did. So I was like, all right, well, I'll do the 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 GoRuck uh, Tough, and then I will go do the Tough Mudder with this group of guys. Um, and I did the third ever GoRuck event in New York City back in 2010. And um, I just instantly fell in love. Uh, you know, Go Rock, just as, to take a step back, is basically a gear and events company. Um, we run multiple events all over the country. It started off with like 25 events a year back in 2010. And now we run upwards of 10 events a weekend, <clears throat> excuse me, wow. in, uh, all throughout the state. Yeah, major growth. Um, you know, then we've also branched off from just that, you know, challenge event to offer navigators and ascents and uh like survival classes uh you know gun range courses we have a multitude of um opportunities and, and events that people can take advantage of now and back in the early days when i first started it was just the one event and we had i think about five pieces of gear and the gear side also grew to you know hundreds of SKUs of t-shirts and all kinds of accessories and things um that we build here in the U.S., um, so GoRuck as a brand has grown um, into this, you know, all-encompassing experience where you can do an event um, to 
promote teamwork. It's all about everyone around you. It's never about yourself. Um, and then they take that experience and get it out to their communities and start to be a beacon of, of community for the people around them in their society. Um, we have a tagline that we use uh, building better Americans. And that's our goal is to kind of create this group of people who are interested in being a positive influence um, in their their town and their community and their their uh, their life and to those around them and we also take that to our gear where we really believe we make the best most durable gear in in the u s um, and we make it all here because we believe in American manufacturing. Um, our gear also comes with a lifetime guarantee so if you rip it, tear it um, you know under normal circumstances I mean you know if you shoot it with a gun or do some sort of crazy stuff I mean we love to hear the story but you know, we'll, we'll probably not fix like a, a bag that's been thrown into a, a furnace or something like that. <laughs> um, but we will, you know, if for a price, we can definitely fix um, some some extra crazy ways that you may have uh, worked on your gear in some event or, or you know, some great adventure. Um, so we kind of take those two things and really focus our business on that. We We want to get people out and active and, and not be sitting, you know, in a cubicle like I used to be all day long and, and, you know, just hating their lives. They want them to, we want them to feel that they have a, a group of people that they can come to and say, hey, I want to go and rock this weekend. And, you know, people carry, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds in a rucksack and they go walk with their friends. And, um, you know, the rucking is really a center of our business because we believe it's something that anybody can do of any fitness background. And it's really grown uh, across the board for us to include so many different people and, and, and so many great stories because our events are one thing, but the, um, the way our gear and, and uh, the rucking ties into it is a really awesome way to, to see all that come to fruition as well. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I've seen, um, you know, I've seen the growth of, of obstacle course training and, and, and go ruck especially because, you know, I have a friend who's a cadre and I'm a friend who competes for the, the selection. Uh, which is the big one for those of you listening. It's, it's right. that is the big nasty. Um, <clears throat> what do you, what do you attribute the growth? Like you mentioned something really interesting, which I, I find fascinating because I'm, I'm, you know, from a CrossFit background and, and that, that cubicle life, right. Um, and mm -hmm. how people are, are looking for a very visceral and real um, escape from that. How do you, do you think that's a huge, factor in, in what you guys do or what do you attribute kind of the natural growth of, of obstacle course training and go ruck um what do you think it is what's the attraction so it's honestly what i believe is a it ties to the cubicle life but it ties to just life in general i feel that people in general have this inherent ability or belief or um need to test themselves to push their limits to to try to understand what they can mentally um, do or, you know, what, what are their limits? And GORUCK has been a way for a lot of people to test those limits. They're, they're tired of, you know, being the person who just sits at their desk waiting for the weekend um, and, you know, like, well, what could I do more? Could I be something different? And a GORUCK event provides those two things uh, of a community that people can come and reach out to, to, like I said earlier, just like go do activities with but it also offers them a chance to really test their mettle when they come to a GORUCK event and, you know, have to put themselves outside of their comfort zone because we're, you know, a society where we now just kind of like, are, we, we love comfort. We love ease. We love to um, sit on our phones and, and not even talk to anybody next to us, um, whether we're waiting in line or a doctor's office, it's just like your head down looking at your phone. Yep. And, you know, GORUCK event is totally, completely opposite. I mean, you can't wear a watch. You have no phone. Um, you have to work with the people around you. We put you into leadership positions, whether you like it or not. Like you're going to have to get in front of a group and potentially lead that group to another uh, point during the event. And it's it's something that's not entirely comfortable, but people love that. And for us, the growth has come from word of mouth because those inherent beliefs that people need to accomplish, where they're trying to test themselves and need a, need a sense of community, they take that after they learn about it and earn their, their patch at a GORG event, and then they'll take that to, you know, their job or their family or, you know, anything else that they're dealing with. And they, they, they 
they tell more people and telling more people has really been the whole bottom line for us. Like we don't run, you know, a ton of aggressive ads or, you know, buy billboards or do something that's your traditional kind of like marketing plan. Our, our whole model has been based around growing that customer base who will come back for 20. I mean, it's amazing to me how many people have come back for 20 or more events and it's, it's, it's just, you know, an amazing community. And then those people tell their friends and, you know, we also work with gyms a lot because we want to partner with them obviously because they're kind of the front line for our, um, our model and they get more people to come to events and they, they promote the sport of rucking and they help us in a lot of ways there too. So it's just been a lot of, you know, uh, relationship building, community building that has really grown us to where we are today. That, that's awesome. You know, it's um, with what we do um, and just kind of relate this to, to, you know, fitness marketing Alliance and FMA. Um, you know, we see our job as we optimize and amplify what, what the fit pro is doing already. Right. And I think, um, you know, the fundamentals of marketing haven't changed. The just avenues have changed in how you can do it. There's so many different options with the digital age. Um, mm -hmm. what, what I think you guys have done, that's incredible. And I think, you know, um, you know, the CrossFit uh, group has done it well as you built these, this tribe, right. This community of people mm -hmm. who won't shut up about what you do. <laughs> right. And, uh, um, can you maybe touch on that? Like what, is, is there anything that you guys do, um, intentionally to, to build that tribe and to build that community? Um, something maybe, a, a, a you know, a fitness pro listing out there, a gym owner out there can, can take some, some nuggets from. So in the digital world, it's, it's definitely a, a challenging place to be because it's so constantly changing. I mean, you know, one technology is there one week and then like it could be a month later and that could be something completely new or something that like you know, have to relearn or new apps that people are using to touch base. And we've really just kind of focused on good content. Um, we like to try to create uh, an experience. It's all about the experience for our customers and for somebody that comes to our website. I mean, we spend a lot of time and effort and um, resources on taking great pictures, great videos, um, getting some great testimonials from people, filming that, filming the experience of the person going through the event, filming, filming our gear being put to the test. And we also really try to engage. I mean, our uh, founder, Jason, is one of the most engaged CEOs I've ever seen or founders um, for a company where he'll go on Facebook, he'll go on Reddit and spend the time to actually reach out to the community and touch base and talk and ask questions and be completely transparent with what's going on. Um, so that way people have that sense of they don't feel like we're just some cold corporation or, you know, cold company that's not willing to even take the time to answer a question. But, you know, we are, we're willing to spend the time to actually go out there and, and see what, what people's thoughts are. And um, that's done great things for us and, and built a lot of rapport for our customers and, and brought them back again and again. And we have just a great community of people. Even on uh, Facebook, we have a whole group of people who have completed events. Um, I think it's upwards of almost 20,000 people right now um, that constantly engage with each other, just, you know, uh, tell jokes, they, they ask questions, they get, get that group together, and then there's offshoots from that where people create their own groups. And even from there, we have our, uh, our um, Firebase program where we have a bunch of gyms that are all managed with, you know, our, our team here, and we, we reach out to those owners, we talk to them, we see what's going on in their communities, and um, we always kind of have... Uh, our our hand on the pulse of what the fans of GoRuck are doing so that we can kind of better adapt to their needs, better adapt to what they're looking to accomplish and try to meet those goals. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. Let's dive into a little bit, well, I guess two, twofold. You know, if, if, I'm, um, if I'm Cubicle Joe, you know, and I'm, I'm mm -hmm. looking at um, signing up for uh, a GoRuck, what, what can you tell me about what that experience will be like? You know, what, what does that, what does that feel like? So the initial sign up is going to be a super uh, nerve wracking experience because we always say it's honestly one of the hardest thing is signing up because you're like, Oh man, I, I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know. <laughs> you know, do I, have I trained enough? Am I, am I crazy? Like people will look at you crazy when they tell you what a GoRuck event is and, and, and what I think helps is to understand what it isn't um, as well because it's not boot camp. It's not some cadre coming up in your face and screaming at you and, and telling you to do a hundred push-ups. Just, you know, 
uh, in a way that is is degrading or something that's something that's negative. I mean, there's you know you're gonna be doing push-ups, you're gonna be doing other PT and lifting heavy things and carrying logs and uh, you know each other or other types of things like that. But the end goal is always the team. So signing up for an event, you might feel like an individual. You might feel a little frightened because you're like, okay, I'm I've never done anything like this before, and I'm going into this all by myself. I mean, the best advice is always just like, you know, find some friends and sign up with them so at least you have some support base. But if not, then you can, you'll make some friends. I mean, our, our, uh, our people at these events usually have someone or a few people that have done at least one or two events. And from there, they kind of help everyone to get into that team aspect. And it happens very quickly. I mean, you're forced to be a team pretty much as soon as you start the event. And you won't even worry about yourself. And I like what, like what I was saying earlier, it's, all about the people around you and you learn to, to accept that. So like as a person who might just be signing up for the first event, it's, you know, sign up, you know, think about your training. I mean, our events, you have to have some training. I wouldn't say you have to be, you know, like a CrossFit, like super athlete or, you know, some guy that is able to do like these incredible feats. It's more about what you mentally set yourself up for. And you say, you know, I'm not going to quit no matter what I go through, no matter what I have to face, because our events are designed to not have a, specific course or you know end time I mean they obviously have a specific time frame but as far as you don't know where you're going to go you don't know when it's going to end in in general terms and, and you also don't have a watch so you can't even check the time to see where, where things are so it's just mentally thinking all right I'm going to go into this, put everything into it just completely kind of submit to the you know the whim of whatever the cadre wants to do and it's definitely unique it's not one of those events that you're going to um, you know, go to a course, have a vendor village, meet at the start line, go run your 5K, and then come back and, you know, like eat at the vendor court or something. It's more of a, a very, like, meet on the street corner, meet the cadre, go over some um, uh, rules and, and uh, safety brief. And then from there, we go into, you know, usually a welcome party where they, they take the whole group of people and you start doing a bunch of PT until you, you know, until they decide it's time to move forward. Then you're going to be completing missions throughout the event, um, whether it's, you know, moving from one location to another, whether it's moving some large object for uh, an undetermined amount of time, or, you know, then it's just the end of the event and then everyone kind of, you know, shakes hands, gets a patch. Usually they'll go out for a beer afterwards and, and they have, a, you know, 30 new friends with them. So it's, uh, it's always a really cool experience because you go from maybe not knowing anybody to having, you know, 30 best friends in the world. Oh, that's awesome. What, what percentage do you think, kid, of people who complete? Because, okay, let's back up. So there's, there's three different levels, right? I think there's a, a, a light, a tough, and then a heavy. Is that right? Heavy, yep. What, um, where would you recommend that most people start? I mean, it's kind of just your preference. I wouldn't say like, because we've had people go and do a heavy the first time ever. I mean, it's, it's like, okay, you know, that takes some gall to do that and say like, yeah, I actually have the physical ability. Cause it's no joke. I mean, 24 hours of doing this is, is an intense thing to do. And it's, it's, you know, going to be tough and it's going to be uh, wearing on you. So if you have like a very basic level of fitness, it's going to, going to be up a little bit. But, um, you know, a light is going to be more introductory, more, uh, I, I, I don't want to say lighthearted, but it's something that's just not as um, intense. Like, it's not something that's going to be as, like, uh, regimented in terms of what, uh, what your rules are. Because, you know, in a tough, you're going to have, like, more, more specifics. They're going to be watching you closer to make sure that you're working as a team. Where a light, they're still going to do those things. But if you screw up a few times and don't, you know, stay together as a group or whatever, you know, the rules are that are set forth before the event. It's not going to be like, you know, some major deal and it never really is, but it's just one of those things that um, it, there's just a different feel. It's like a little bit more like, you know, Oh, we're just hanging out and doing the event. We're, we're, we're having a, a good time and there's, you know, some more uh, jokes thrown around and all that type of thing. We're a tough, a little more intense, a little more, um, more focused on the team. And then, like I said, the heavy is like the ultimate team event where you're going to be trying to work together for 24 hours. Um, however, the, uh, the light is, is a great opening event, I would say. I mean, tough is though too, because tough is going to give you the full experience for a light. You might not get as enough, uh, enough time to really generate that full team feel like you would in a tough. 
Okay. <clears throat> and the tough is what, 12 hours? Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that usually starts at like 9 p.m. or 1 a.m. Uh, we switch the times around a little bit depending on the time of the year and whatnot. But um, we, you know, it's a different experience going overnight too. Because like a, a light is usually in the afternoon or early morning so that you're still with the sun up uh, for the most part. But with a tough, it's, you know, nighttime for the majority of your event, and then you're you're done in the early morning. So it's kind of hard to, you know, that overnight thing can really do a number on people sometimes. Yeah, I think um, I, I think that's the only part that intimidates me is not sleeping. <laughs> I, I just I, right. I love to sleep, man. I love it. Uh, <laughs> what I uh, I want to hear more about this Firebase program too. I mean, that's. Um, you know, coming from being a, a CrossFit gym owner and affiliate owner for a long time, um, you know, I, I very much um, understand the need to, to, to build community and, and maintain that community and, and kind of keep things fresh. Um, tell me a little bit about that program and, and how, um, you know, a, a facility owner or a fitness pro or, gym, you know, anybody can, can get involved in that. Sure. So the Firebase program is basically um, set up uh, to promote the sport of rucking. I mean, that's our basic goal is to get more people. Like I was saying earlier, it's the gym owners are on the front lines and in the military, um, I was never a veteran, but, uh, the, the military says that the fire base is usually the, um, the base that's closest to the, to the action, to what's going on. So they're the people that we want to work with because they're literally in front of customers almost every day. Um, if not every day. And if, you know, we work with them and they're, they're bought in on the um, benefits of rucking, then it is a great resource for us to, you know, build our customer base. But we want to return the favor as well. That's kind of the whole goal of the program is the reciprocity of the whole thing because we're going to be saying, all right, you know, we would love for you to help us grow the sport of rucking, to get people to events, to, to buy gear. But, you know, we want to work with you too. So if you have some big event going on, if you're, you know, look, what are the goals of that gym owner or that, you know, CrossFit box or whatever it might be? We want to see what they're trying to do because we can offer a lot of solutions like custom events or, you know, a large gear purchase or anything like that. And um, we can definitely come up with, you know, some, some great opportunities because it, we also do a tiered system within the program so that you basically earn as soon as you sign up an event discount. So that we can kind of see how things are going we can you know see how your gym is performing within the program but then uh, it also incentivizes because the more you use the code the more you do uh, rucks with your gym then we can increase the percentage of that we can also offer um, discounts on gear uh, like I was saying we do custom events which are always nice because a custom event for a gym is a great way to build member um, unity because then you say all right well we're all going to do an event that's outside the normal schedule of go rock or we just want to do an event with our people and it's you know something that everyone can train for it's people they know uh, and then they can get a custom patch even at the end of it to say yeah we as crossfit abc just completed a go rock event and you know here's our patch to show for it um so it's it's just a way for us to really reward those people who are out there helping us and and believing in what we do and, and you know again we like to return the favor and try to help them in any way we can um that fits within our business model fits within what we're trying to accomplish as well that's really cool i love that i love the custom i love the custom events um and now i'm gonna lead you in a question because this is what i do for a living right how do you see mm -hmm. um go ruck you know technology is changing incredibly quick quick quicker than most people can even handle um, how do you see go ruck adjusting to you know the digital age and um, using that as an advantage for the growth of your business um, I mean I think it's going to come down to a lot of um, finding a way to bring community together for us um, whether that's something like meetup.com or you know like some sort of uh, like even like a Fitbit tracker type situation or something where people can kind of come together and say, oh, well, we're rucking, you know, like it, a lot of those, those tracker devices, people using an Apple watch or whatever, like they track where they've been, what they're doing. And it, I see us trying to move more into that as well. Like, you know, what, what are you, you up to and, and finding a community of people because the hard part about what we do is that we're not focused on, you know, 
like making technology a part of what we're doing. Like I said, we make people, you know, put away their cell phones and watches and things like that. Cause we want them to fully experience the moment. Um, so the technology is probably more so a way for us to utilize meetups and get togethers. Um, and obviously letting people know what we do and, and, uh, and, and inform them about gear and, and things like that. So I think those are some of the other ways that we're going to use technology in the, in the future. Awesome. Uh, Kit, how, um, if I'm a, a, someone who wants to try a go ruck event or if I'm a, um, you know, a fitness pro or a, a facility owner who wants to get in touch with you guys and maybe talk a little bit about events and Firebase, um, how do we get a hold of you? So the best way to do that, uh, we have a link on our website um, at the bottom of the page that is called Go Ruck Firebase. And you can click on that link and it will take you to um, a page outlining the Firebase program. Um, and then they can apply and, and I, we get all those requests on our, um, uh, our emails here so that we can sort them out and then answer them. Um, and then you can also just shoot team at goruck.com an email. And uh, they'll also help to, you know, sort out any sort of questions or emails that you have because they're a great, our customer service team is awesome and they'll be happy to help with whatever issues you guys might have or uh, even just finding out more information about what we do. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Kit. I really appreciate your time, man. I, I love what you guys are doing at Go Ruck, and uh, you fired me up. I'm, I'm going to sign up for one. There, there I said it. Awesome. I said it. Um, All right. I'm try to get a team together too and, and drag some people with me. Um, yeah, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll keep in touch. All right, sounds good, man. Looking forward to it. Hey, everybody. This is Eric with the Fitness Marketing Alliance, and I want to say thank you for listening to this episode of the Future of Fitness podcast and webinar series. Uh, we're working really hard here to keep great content coming out, and we'd like to express our gratitude by offering you a free seven-day marketing crash course. So here's how you can claim it. If you go to fitnessmarketingalliance.com forward slash free gift, F-R-E-E-G-I-F-T, and you enter the promo code FITMARK, F-I-T-M-A-R-K, you can claim it that way. The other way is you can text us. So you can text the phone number 805-619-5550, and you text the word FITMARK, F-I-T-M-A-R-K. So again, that phone number is 805 619 Five 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 zero. So thank you. Keep listening. Go claim that offer. It's a ton of value. And if you ever want to get a hold of me, or if you have suggestions for guests, topics, or anything else, or if you just want to ask me questions, uh, I always respond. You can reach me at Eric E R I C at fitnessmarketingalliance.com. And keep listening. We have a lot more coming down the pipe, and uh, we'll make sure that we're keeping the value great for you guys. And farewell till next time.